there. Today I'm going to be doing a pattern review and a discussion on making it work on this Vogue 1352 Rebecca Taylor design. It is a very simple dress. It isn't listed as very easy. Oh, it is listed as easy. It's very it's simple to make. Uh, the only thing that might offer a challenge to the beginner will be the, this little section of the binding around the neck, just keeping it looking neat. This is what I'm calling my Tetris fabric dress. What I had to do with it is I had to create a fabric to have enough to make the sleeves and I pieced one half of the black in this coordinating gray and the other sleeve is also pieced together using the two fabrics. I used kind of a crazy quilt method to do that where I just laid down. I was going to show you a piece of what was left. I can't find it. I had very little fabric left, but I just laid down a piece of the stripe and a piece of the gray and I cut a straight line. I stitched those together and then I, I surged those together and then I just cut it off and put another piece. It's the process that you use when you're doing crazy quilting. So uh, this is a full length dress and you can see I also had to do in order to fill, make the skirt the full width I added a little strip down the side that's turned sideways. Now all of these look intentional and I think they look cool and probably make the dress at least as cute or cuter than it would have been if I'd made it otherwise. And you can see that by laying the stripes the way that I did, I put the stripes on the one side going up and down and on the other going back and forth. The I'm going to try to bring Agatha a little closer to the camera. I'm just going to try setting her on the floor without crises. On the neckline, I'm going to just hold the camera for a minute. The zigzag along here isn't as perfect as it could have been. And you can see that right here where I said it might be a little harder, just that one little section might pose a little bit of a challenge. But altogether, it's, it's an easy dress to make. Now, I've made this twice. The first time I made it out of a cotton jersey and that one went extremely well. And it was, um, I made it according to her, her measurements it's for my daughter and it fit a little bit big. And I think I had made it in a large. So I brought it down to a medium, but I didn't really calculate in that this is a rayon blend knit and it's very weighty and has a, a lot of soft drape to it and so it still fits her a little bit big and you can see that there's a little bit of um, this is not laying like it should it's flopping open a little bit well you maybe you can't see that and I can move her back up I'll just hold her up and let you see what I'm trying to say so right here there's just a little bit, and I could have approached that several ways. Maybe I should have, uh, if I'd known it was going to do that, I would have put a little piece of, hang on, I've got the product right here, I think. Nope. Okay. Yeah, yes, I do. This nylon seam binding, and I think it's just called seam binding, and it's available at Joann's or from Wawak or many other places. It has no give at all. And if I'd put that along there, it wouldn't have brought any weight, maybe made that lie better. The way that it's designed, it doesn't rely on this part stretching to get it on, so that would have been a good solution. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do about it. And it also is too long for her. Now, the other one that I made just by the pattern, perfect length this one a little bit too long so I've got to go back and fix that and I did on this one I did the shell stitch hem also 
my lighting isn't very great this morning. I guess it's cloudy outside. Um, let me see if I can show you that better by folding up the skirt. But the shell tuck on a soft cotton like this is will just look really great and it doesn't bring a lot of bulk and it's just a nice pretty hem and it doesn't distort your fabric normally. You do need to set your tension, your thread tension, if you're going to do this shell tuck for a hem and on your machine, I, I don't know what it'll be called on your machine, uh, but it it's just a little zigzag. It has a row of stitches and then a zigzag. You want to set your thread tension to between seven and eight, which is pretty tight, and that's what causes it to pull it up. So that is my discussion of Vogue 1352. This is probably, this is an old pattern. I didn't look to see if it was available. It's a pretty straightforward pattern. I think it would be worth looking it up if you have a fairly straight figure and if you like this basic style of dress, but also if you have a curvy figure because she has more of a, of a small waist and more of an hourglass figure and it is very flattering on her. Nice little spring dress. Um, I think that's all I have to say about it. I think that I would give the pattern a, a pretty strong a, because it comes together really easily. The directions are good. It's clear how to do everything. It's very simple to make. And um, I like it a lot. So if you like it, try the pattern. Thanks. Happy sewing.